Hey guys, it's Jiraiu in Asia. As you can see by the title, today's video is a what's on my iPhone 14. I got the iPhone 14 like probably way back in maybe January, February. I know I got it like not too long after it came out. I'm finally doing a what's on my iPhone once again. If you guys don't know, that was my first video. The first thing that you see on my phone is my lock screen. My lock screen is pink and white and it has my name on it. Oh my gosh, okay. My screen recording keeps stopping so I guess I have to like unlock my phone. So my lock screen is pink and white and it has my name on it my youtube channel name which is Jiraiya Asia. Next going to my home screen the first app that you see is like literally just a bunch of pictures. The first widget is my birthday. My birthday is July 19th and it's in 16 days and I'm just really excited for my birthday this year. I'm turning 15 and I just know what I want to do. I want to have like a little birthday dinner with some friends this year. And yeah, I keep touching my hair guys because my hair keeps getting in my way. So I'm sorry if that's bothering guys. Then I have two pictures of me and two like quotes. I like quotes that's like keeping you humble and just, like get on your zoom. Like, you know, I like quotes like that. My first quote says, not everyone will make it with you. You can't reach the top carrying people who are unwilling to climb for themselves. I just found these on Pinterest if you guys want to know but once again I think I told you guys this I'm going to be changing my phone up again since I've had this for a while and I just don't like the pictures anymore like the vibe is cute but the pictures are just you know it's time to switch it up a little bit. My second quote says get money stay pretty and stay on your stuff and you know it's just basically saying like get your money stay to yourself get your money up like focus on you and all that stuff and yeah my second slide is another quote with two pictures this one says make your energy the prettiest thing about you my quotes are mainly about money getting like you know getting your life together staying humble staying positive having positive energy you know stuff like that and it just really helps with the type of lifestyle that i want for me because i lack in like positivity because i'm a very humble person but i lack in a lot of things because i procrastinate a lot so stuff like this helps me you know get back to, like to where i was before or reach even higher then i have two pictures of myself once again my next slide is another quote well more like a definition for self-love it says being in love with every part of yourself taking care of your own needs and not sacrificing your well-being to please others settling for less than you deserve and that's really good for me because i've been working on my self-love more i've actually been lacking in that in june and now it's july today's july 3rd so i'm definitely going to be getting my self-love self-care stuff back together because i have not been good with that you know self-love is the best type of love so you have to have self-love you know love yourself at the bottom it's another little phrase or something that says a new era of me saying that 2023 is a new and better version of me which so far it has been a new and better version of me going to the fourth slide i think these are just a bunch of widgets and pictures that i found off of pinterest and it's giving calls and americami pillows that's what i was liking at the time going to my last slide we have a motivation widget it says in the middle of a difficulty lies opportunity albert einstein i have a color widget of me and my childhood best friend when we were little kids which is so cute now we're going to go into the actual apps so the first little like folder i have is called phone it just has my messages facetime and phone which you guys know what's on there next one is socials um i have tiktok you guys know what tiktok is if you don't it's just another social media if you want to follow my tiktok you can it's jariah Asia. And I've been actually been more active on TikTok. I need to turn my volume down. I've been more active on TikTok lately. Like I'll post, but half the time it's on my story or friends only. But yeah, 
if you guys want you can go interact with my tiktok next thing i have is twitter now i don't really use twitter i've been trying to get into it but only for like youtube for real posted some quotes like way back like i don't know how far ago like i mean i tweeted some like i tweeted some stuff like not too far ago not too long ago and you guys should definitely go follow me on Twitter. It's just Raya, but by the time you see this video, it's going to be Jariah Asia. Next, I have Snapchat. I only use Snapchat to like talk to people. Like, not really. Like, I'll text some of my classmates from my old school, some people I'm cool with, and yeah, I don't really use Snapchat. Next, I have Instagram. Basically, everyone uses Instagram, you know. For me, um, Instagram is usually where I'm at all the time. Like, I'm always posting like on my story i need to take more pictures because i have not been taking pictures a lot you guys should go follow me on instagram at dryly asia i currently have 303 followers and yeah i've been trying to get more active on here and i've been doing terrible at that lately and i also have a spam account next in my socials i have pinterest pinterest is my favorite app of all times like if I'm not texting you, I'm on Pinterest, okay? Like, I literally love using Pinterest. Like, I'm mainly on there for outfit inspos and nails. Like, I'm trying to get into short nails right now, but right now I have, like, long nails. This is not my normal length, guys, but these are so cute. I'll add my nail tech at the nail spy. She's, like, the best. But, yeah, guys, I literally only come on here for, like, literally just inspiration so that's basically what pinterest is for but i've been trying to post on here more and you guys can follow me on pinterest as well at dryu asia once again and my pinterest is public so if you want any like inspirations you can definitely follow me on here like i have all types of boards like i have a lush board nails hair inspos literally like anything that you may need so do you guys want you can go check out my pinterest feed moving on to the next one we have education first i have calculator which i only use calculator when i need to calculate stuff and because like i'm good at mental math but if there's like something i'm doing like a math problem or i'm doing science because you need math and science if i'm doing one of those then i'll use my calculator or just to add up money that's the only time i use it i have a spanish app it's called spanish dictionary um, I don't know why I have this app. I've never used this before. No Spanish. I'm like, I'm alright at it. I'm pretty decent at it, but I'm not about to sign up for that right now. I have Duolingo. Duolingo is something I use for the languages I speak. Right now, I mainly do English and Spanish, but I'm also learning Italian, Portuguese, and French. Because I have an app called Brainly. You really use this for like, I don't use it to cheat. Like if we're talking sixth grade, seventh grade, then okay, yeah. But it wasn't really cheating, it was searching up answers. But now I only use Brainly if I'm actually stuck or I want to figure out how to do a certain question. But it's really good for like finding out stuff, you know. It has a lot of stuff. But it doesn't have everything. Like you can type in a question and it won't pop up or it'll show something similar, you know. Next, I have a DMV testing app. This is just for me to practice for my permit because I'm getting my permit soon. I'm going to be taking my permit test on July 19th, which is my birthday, and that's on Wednesday. So I'm going to be taking it either the day of my birthday or the day after. So I've been practicing. I also have this driving test app, which is the same as the DMV one before. It's just like different stuff like flashcards. Next, we have photo math. Photo math is basically for math, like you need help with stuff you know during math like for ninth grade math it was like sometimes i couldn't find the answer to stuff or like if i did i just wanted to double check or make sure like i have the right steps down because i like to take extra notes which is why i have little math if i know what i'm doing i still want to have extra notes it's always good to take notes no matter if you're smart or you know what you're doing your ace doing it doesn't matter always take extra notes so moving on to the next one i'm trying to speed up now we're going to the shopping one I have Fashion Nova. This is um, a clothing app for men, women, and kids. They have some good stuff on here. I haven't shopped on here forever, but I'm in the process of making a back to school cart. Definitely check out Fashion Nova if you haven't. Next, we have Sheen. Everybody knows what Sheen is. I think it's pronounced Sheen, but I'm so used to saying Sheen now. I come on here for a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is some of my back to school clothes on my Sheen cart. And like, I honestly love Sheen. It's just, I don't like to get outfits from here like all the time because it's not good to do that like there's other websites like sheen is good but your whole fit from there 
no way maybe you have your whole fruit from there once or twice yeah but not all the time moving on to goat goat is a good app for like shoes i think they sell hoodies too i've seen a spider hoodie on here but sometimes they be coming out with shoes that's just ridiculous i hope i'm not too close to the camera i'm just realizing but i have like a want list on here i honestly love shoes shoes is where it's at in my heart you want to make me happy give me some shoes and I've been trying to get into dunks more because I don't have any dunks. So next we have White Fox. I love White Fox, okay? White Fox is very expensive. I guess because it's in Australia and like the stuff there is probably high. But White Fox has like the best clothes for me. I mean, it's not good to get basics from here. You can get basics from Sheen or at H&M, Hollister, stuff like that. But I literally love the clothes on White Fox, honestly like they're the reason i got into corsets and stuff so i definitely recommend checking out white fox it's just the only thing with them is their prices are really high next we have gymshark i don't think i've ever shopped on gymshark but they're good for working out i'm not even logged into my account anymore but i think i had like workout sets on here that i wanted but yeah they have like men's and women's section for workout clothes so if you want you can definitely check out gymshark and i have paypal I don't have an online card, but I heard that when you're 15, you can get an online card, I think from PayPal or somewhere, I'm not sure, but I really want to have an online card because I like to shop online a lot, and even though my mom can pay for stuff for me, I still want to be independent because I'm growing to be a young woman, and I don't spend money, like I don't just spend it, I only spend it when I need something or if I want something that's necessary. I also know how to budget. So that's another reason like I really want an online card. So we have Walmart. I use Walmart for groceries because I go grocery shopping at Walmart. I'm like the cook of my family. And I usually go to Walmart mainly for groceries or if I need hygiene. But I'm trying to like look at Target now. So next we have Halera Halara. Um, I think this is similar to workout clothes. I'm not sure, but they have some decent stuff on here. It's just I'm not going to pay $44 for no wide leg pants that I can get off chain. Next we have Starbucks. Um, I really need to start using my Starbucks rewards card thingy so I can get points. Like the amount of times I go to Starbucks and don't use the card thing is ridiculous. But I only use Starbucks like, I don't know, I just have the app just for rewards even though I don't use it right now. Next we have Publix. I don't know why I have the Publix app. Oh, my camera's dying, guys. My camera's about to die. I'm about to change my battery, but yeah, I don't know why I have the Publix app. I just have it to have it. I have Pretty Little Thing, which is a good clothing brand. Like, I love Pretty Little Thing. If you want some some little cute outfits, go to Pretty Little Thing, you know. I have a wish list on here right now, and I think this is some of the stuff I want for back to school, but their little Pretty Little Thing logo, like, body suits and stuff, is so cute like oh my gosh next we have amazon i'm always on amazon i love amazon like literally it's my number one probably not my number two favorite app on my phone right now um i have a like bedroom card like basically because i'm redoing my bedroom it's really just like my bed set and that's really it the video is going to be coming soon for like a bedroom tour or whatever so be ready for that and then i have some hair products that i want to try out in here too okay guys so i'm back my camera and my phone died and i had to pre well actually i had to re-screen record everything that i showed you guys on my phone because my phone died none of it saved and i threw like a whole tantrum like i was so upset when i show you guys the footage if it's like a little delayed or fast forward then i apologize it's just i did not feel like re-recording the intro and doing all everything over again so you know i hope you guys understand that but i left off at amazon um i was saying something about yeah amazon is like literally my second favorite app and right now my car consists of bedroom stuff i'm going to be doing a room tour soon like probably um uh, it's probably going to be like a redecorating my room slash room tour type of video next we have ulta beauty i just started going to ulta for like makeup because i'm just now getting into makeup um if you guys can't tell there's makeup on right now i like you probably can't tell because i barely have any on i just have like a little bit of makeshift blush with some concealer that's literally all i have on my face blush concealer and a setting powder with a little bit of highlight i don't know if it's still one probably word off 
since I've been out all day, but, but, you know, Ulta is pretty good. Like, honestly, like Ulta, they have a lot of stuff that you can't find if you try to go to Walmart for makeup. I've been trying to find a good lip liner because I used this eyeshadow that was like a multi-stick that you could use for, like, lip liner as well, but it made my lips feel like they were burning a little bit, and it just irritates my lips, if that makes sense. Next, I have Rooms to Go. I don't even use Rooms to Go. Um, I think I went on here for a vanity, but I didn't like any of the vanities on here, so. I got my bed set from here, though, in my nightstand, in my dresser. Next, I have DoorDash. Um, I barely use DoorDash due to the fact I don't have an online card, and my mom just let me DoorDash unless, like, need her or something, like, if she's out of state or something like that. I like to make pretend orders. Like, I like to make an order and not order it. Like, I do that, I used to do that with Chipotle, but I don't order from Chipotle anymore because, no, okay, no, that's like the worst thing to do. Ordering online from Chipotle, unless you're going to pick it up, do not order delivery because they will put anything in your bowl. I, next, I have Dunkin', like guys, I just started getting into Dunkin' a little bit. I only go to Dunkin' for donuts though. Dunkin' Donuts, okay. I want to try their coffee, but you know, nothing tops Starbucks in my opinion. But my favorite donut from Dunkin' is the Jelly Fill Donut in the Boston Cream. Like, I don't care what anybody says, those are the best two donuts. And why do they make, like, these speciality donuts? They look so nasty. Like, what is a caramel chocoholic? Choco? Chocolateholic? Chocoholic? That looks disgusting. Diabetic. <laughs> Anyways, next I have Target. I just started, like using the Target app because I want to start going to Target for my hygiene and hair stuff possibly as well like hair products possibly because Target has a lot of things that Walmart doesn't have which is why I want to start shopping there because if I want to go to Walmart like if I'm hygiene shopping at Walmart and it says that something's here online it's not going to be there in person like there's a coconut body scrub body wash that's supposed to be at Walmart but it's not there is only online I think Target and Walmart are both high you know like stuff is high regardless but you gotta do what you gotta do like to take care of yourself and why am I just finding out that Tree Hut has body butters like I know I'm probably super late but Walmart does not have any Tree Hut body butters so that's probably why I'm just not finding out and they have a vanilla scrub and body butter so I'm definitely going to be getting that I don't know when I'm gonna to go to Target but I'm gonna to go to Target very soon okay yeah moving on to our next folder we have daily these are apps that i use on a daily basis I'm always checking my settings literally i don't know why but i stay in my settings like one there's my camera app um i'm trying to get into taking photos more it's just like how i look on this camera i look good then on my phone camera it's like like what like my camera lighting is so good like Oh my gosh. Moving on, next up I have is Notion. Notion is like my to-go app. And now um, I have like a workout. Like I made a whole workout list on Notion. Like I go to Notion to plan out everything. Like content planning, my birthday wish list, Christmas wish list, my goals. Like everything is on Notion. Next we have the weather app. Everyone knows what the weather app is. It's drizzling outside right now in my area, I guess. I guess. We've been getting a lot of rain. We're supposed to get rain all week, all the way to next week, which is kind of sad. But for my area, I don't really get rain because I'm near Griffin, I guess. So I don't really get rain. Next app, I have this ring. Um, we have cameras in our front and back porch, which is pretty good. You know, you can get a notification if somebody's just driving past your house, like literally. Somebody can be driving like down from the mailbox. Like we have those apartment complex type of mailbox. So somebody can drive it from down there, turn that little corner and pass up my neighbor's house from across the street. Like there's my neighbor's house right here and another one right here. Passing up this house, once you get to right here, we get that notification and it's kind of crazy. It's just, it's very annoying, but it's also really good, so you can stay alerted. Next, I have Lens Buddy. It's just like camera, but you can take pictures, like, automatically. Like, I really love this app. I've been trying to get into pictures more, so it helps. Next app, I have the Stardust. It's just like any other ministerial app for ladies to have their cycle, you know. Next up I have is Life360. Me 
and my family have it. I have this app with my mom and my little sister and then I also have it with my best friend and then two other people. Like we have our own, I have three circles that I'm in. But Life360 is definitely really good to check on people, make sure that they're safe, where they're supposed to be at, you know. Next I have is Musi. I use Musi for my music. It's actually a pretty good, you know, app. Like there's ads, but there's skippable ads. Like you can listen to the music even when the ads on it. And people be like, oh, Apple Music is better. I'm not paying for nothing. I don't care. Like I've been using Musi for what, three, four years probably. Next I have is my notes. Um, I barely use my notes. I don't use it, but here's my 2023 goals I've had so far. Next we have is my photos. You guys know what's in the photos, so I don't have to explain that. Then there's the calendar. You guys know what's in the calendar as well. Then there's my Gmail. I have my regular Gmail where I just get all types of notifications. And then I have my business one, which is in my description, by the way. Next, I have my Bible app. I have not been checking my Bible lately, which is very bad, so I definitely need to start checking it. But I have a I have a Bible, like an actual Bible too, but I use that one for school. And I want a new Bible, so I'm probably when we're going to get a new one. But today's verse of the day is scripture, Psalms 77, 11 through 12. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty needs. That's pretty good. I've been working on my Bible study. Like, I've heard this soap method. I want to really try. Next, we have Wattpad. If you know, you know. And we have Maps. You guys know what Maps is. I have this other app, it's called Bible something, I don't remember why I downloaded it, but yeah. And then I have mail, which is literally Gmail, except my mail is always going off. Like why is there a 19k notifications? Like they should have a thing where you could just like select all and then delete or um, mark as red because nobody has time for that. We have my clock app. You guys know what a clock app is. I only have one alarm and it's my 7 a.m. alarm to wake up at 7 a.m. every day but Saturday and Sunday. And then I have like my world clock. I don't know why I have all these places. I think this is just for places I want to go. Yeah. Going on to my closet folder. We have wallet which is nothing in my wallet literally. I just have this movie ticket for when I went to go see a movie. Then we have watch. It's just my Apple watch. Nothing special on here. Yeah Facebook. I don't even use Facebook. I don't know why I have Facebook. I just have it a habit. App Store, and we have Cloud Music. I use Cloud Music when I'm on an airplane, and it works offline. Like when I'm on a plane, like Delta Spirit, something, I just turn this on and blast it in my headphones. Like add your whole playlist to here and just listen to it. So definitely recommend. This is a really good app for offline. We have no Wi Fi, no connection. Then I have One Tracker. I used to use this for like packages, but some reason when i would paste it it would just not show so now i use the shop app which is our next app shop is like really good like it tracks your orders good i have lock it i'm barely on lock it but if you guys like i have like people in lock it i have not been using it in the past two months but i should start back using it because i'm in people's lock it for a reason next i have motivation app which i told you guys about the scott this app is pretty helpful um, when you're downloading the app, it lets you pick a category of like what you really want on the app. And I don't remember what I chose, but that's why these are my quotes. So I have Photo Widget, which is the app that comes with the iPhone, I think, when widgets first came out. And I have the day before. What is this? <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Oh, okay. I guess it's like it's a birthday countdown app. And we have Files, and I have the PlayStation app. The PlayStation app is really if I want to text somebody and I just like don't feel like texting on the game like you won't show your online like you can text you can text somebody on your phone without like instead of like doing it with your controller and stuff so this is really helpful next we have games i have not really been playing these games but i have roblox i have flow free which is pretty simple game used to have a cats and soup game um when i first got this i don't know why but this game is actually kind of you know it's kind of nice be peaceful it's a cool game it's just like a bunch of cats and i guess you're making soup that's really it and i have wordscapes i love wordscapes it's really good for your iq it's just a really you know calm game not really calm it kind of stresses you out like the thing with wordscapes it literally makes you forget 
like a simple word of episode i don't really use episode but i like their story games like, I play this episode probably two to three times a year. And once I start back after taking the five to three to five month break, then <laughs> I'm not stopping for a minute. I have Candy Crush. I had to make myself take a break from Candy Crush because the game is too addictive. Okay? Like, the old people knew what they were doing when they made this game. Like, this game's a little too addicting. It will make you be very lazy, which is why I can't play it because I get addicted. Like, really addicted. And it's unhealthy. And I have Coin Master. I don't. I think I downloaded Coin Master for like that 750 Sheen gift card thing. The next one we have Board, and we just have YouTube, Netflix, and Safari. For YouTube, it's probably my most used app, YouTube and Instagram. But I watch Victory Marie, Veda Zeniel, and Dragon Empire. Those are the people I've been binge watching a lot lately. Literally, they're all I watch, and I love Victory Marie. She's like so inspiring. And just so positive and I love it I also watch Romaria Alexia and A.S. Maya like literally all I watch like I literally love these people we have Netflix you guys know what Netflix is about um I think right now I'm binge watching Riverdale like I restarted the season probably three months ago and I think I'm about to be on season three everyone's like ew ew but I stopped watching Riverdale at like the third season when that was the last season and somebody said there was something about them adding powers, which I hope that's not true. Please do not tell me it is in the comments because if it is, then I will actually lose my mind. So we have Safari. Coming up, our last folder is work. This is basically like YouTube, editing, stuff like that. We have YouTube tracker that basically like tells you your analytics, kind of your subscribers, watch hours, stuff like that. And it's really helpful honestly really helpful we have youtube studio which is the same way basically my last video was posted probably like what two or three weeks ago oh a month ago and there's fonto fonto is something i use for thumbnails no i use fonto for like the um like if i'm making the like a two picture thumbnail probably a two picture thumbnail i'll use fonto and then i'll go to canva for the words probably or Fonto for the words. Yeah, I go to Fonto for the words, but I make the thumbnail on Canva. I really use Fonto to like add the text because on Canva I can actually size the pictures without it without it looking too weird. And then I'll just save it and insert it on Fonto and put the text. Like print is not something I use for YouTube. I have this for like if I take a picture on my phone I think yeah if I take a picture on my phone and I want to like print it out and I can use this app and I have a little camera as well for it too and it'll just like come out like as a sticker then I have Canva which I told you guys I use Canva for editing my videos my thumbnails I don't know why I'm doing that but I use Canva to edit my thumbnails I think I'm working on yeah I'm working on making a new intro too I don't know when it's going to come out probably after my birthday but yeah this app i have is canon connect camera connect um i used this first when i didn't have a usb i would like basically have my camera connected to my ipad or my macbook and just send the footage to there but it's really hard and it takes all day it will take two days for that to happen that's all that's on my phone guys and right here i just have two widgets which is that i love myself and you know I am in motivation. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. This was the what's on my iPhone 14 iOS 16 edition. If you guys have any video recommendations or questions, please comment them down below. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.